Hey there. Today, I'll share my suggestions for five gifts that I recommend you give that people will actually use and get value from. Welcome to Get It Together, and if you're new here, this channel is just me trying to figure out how to get my life together and sharing the tips and lessons that I learned along the way. Gift giving can be stressful because we want to offer gifts that people like, and our budgets can vary wildly depending on our current financial situations. Because of this, each gift idea, beyond a quick look at it, will also include one, the type of person I think it's perfect for, and two, the price range. Before diving in, there are indeed section timestamps in the description below, so feel free to hop around as you see fit. First on the list, a Swiss Army knife or a multi-tool. These are, by a huge margin, the winners of the Usefulness Per Cubic Inch Award, and they are equally useful for all genders and all age groups. They don't clutter people's places, and yet for someone like my sister, who doesn't typically have a need for tools in general, the Leatherman she has gets used when there's a need for, I don't know, a random screwdriver for that random IKEA assembly she does, or opening envelopes and packages. I have one in my car's glove box, one in my desk drawer, and one in my camera bag, and I cannot overstate the usefulness. So for the who it's for category, I have to say it's for literally anyone above the age of say, eight or nine. Obviously, if you're planning on giving it to a kid, get permission from their parents first and dedicate the 15, 20 minutes to really teach them about always cutting away from themselves, how to retract the blade so they don't lose their fingers, and all that other relevant safety stuff. As for price ranges, these range from $20 all the way to $200, so there's something to fit every budget. And what I love about Swiss Army knives and multi-tools is that they are all useful. My personal recommendations that hit best bang for buck, in my opinion, are this Victorinox Fieldmaster. And for a multi-tool, I have two. The SOG Power Pint for its small size and easy pocketability, and the Leatherman Wave as a full sweep multi-tool that does not break the bank. I've linked them all in the description below, so feel free to click them to check them out for yourself. Next on the list is this specific Mir Travel Tumbler Mug combined with a Night Eyes S-Beaner. A coffee or tea that stays hot is so underrated. Why I specifically recommend this near wide mouth tumbler is that after half a decade of frequent use, it's never leaked once on me, so I know it's a long-term use item. More importantly though, is the lid. With a generous built-in handle, coming home from work, I can't overstate how this handle has made one single trip from the car possible, being able to just hang it off my finger when my hands are already full. The other thing I love about the lid is that this is the only tumbler I've ever owned where the underside of the lid is metal, so there's never that hint of plastic taste no matter how hot the contents is. Like pretty much all tumblers nowadays, it definitely keeps drinks piping hot or ice cold for hours, but again, the lid is the winner for me. And after half a decade of abuse, it shows no signs of slowing down. I recommend combining this with the Night Eyes S-Beaner number no. 4 size since it enables real hands-free carry. I anchor the mirror to all my bags with the S-Beaner and it's been a game changer. Who is this for on your list? Anyone really, but especially for those who always have a coffee with them or those who complain about leaky cups. This has become a catch-all for me, whether I'm hiking, commuting, or just heading to the mall or downtown for a stroll. As for pricing, these are not cheap. Depending on the size you get, they range from $30 to $50 US dollars, and the S-Beaner is less than $5. Though not the cheapest, they are essentially forever items and worth their weight in gold. I've linked all of this in the description below for you to check out. By the way, for coworkers or stocking stuffers, the Night Eyes Espiner in all sizes is a guaranteed cheap yet ever useful gift on its own. Third on the list is a board game called Codename Pictures. And now, I am not someone who particularly enjoys playing board games frequently, other than chess, clearly. But when I was introduced to Codename's Pictures, I was hooked. Now, I won't go through the rules, but just know that you can play with two people and up. And now the reason I love this game is because it's super fun in a group setting or one-on-one, -on -one, and it's so revealing about sharing the way people think and ultimately helps me become a better communicator, believe it or not. I'll quickly show you what I mean. The game comes with a massive deck of these really abstract, super creative and interesting images, and they're arranged in a grid of four by five tiles. Your goal is to communicate using just one single word and one number to have your partner guess the tiles that reflect your secret tiles that you can see on the code card but they can't, in as few rounds as possible. So let's say these are the seven tiles I have to communicate to my partner. I notice that these three all have four feet or wheels touching the ground. I can't say four-legged since that's two words and I'm only allowed to say one word. 
but I am allowed to say quadruped. So I say quadruped three and hope my 10 year old cousin knows what quadruped means. <laughs> or these four tiles. They all look wildly different, but in an abstract way, they're all opened up. So I say open four and hope my partner's visualization is as abstract as mine. Regardless, you should get the point by now, and it's just a really super fun night in. So who is this for? First off, from personal experience, this is a great board game gift for anyone who are not traditionally into board games. But beyond that, I think it's a great gift to share with your significant other, as well as for anyone who hosts friends and gatherings at their house often. Coming in at about 20 US dollars, the countless hours this game has given me over the years makes this some of the most worthwhile friendship and family bonding $20 I've ever spent. And I've linked it in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Next up, a sling bag. And to be able to confidently speak from experience, I'm recommending the TomTalk Compact EDC Sling Bag. Its price point is the lowest I've found in its category without sacrificing durable quality or function. But the reason I'm recommending a sling bag in general is because of its pressure-free utility. Now, when I say pressure-free, I mean for anyone who typically carries a bag, whether it's for you women, those brand name purses need to be babied a bit. But in rainy weather, for a hike or quick hop over to the store, this TomTalk can be beaten up without a care while storing a crap ton. And for EDC heads like me, the past three months of near daily use has made this sling my favorite personal purchase of 2021. But who is this for? Freaking everyone. It's great for your kid to tote around their favorite toy of the week without losing it. Equally great for your grandma that has one of those monster wallets with receipts from 1980 still stuffed in them. And it's great for you too. Price point, like I said earlier, is the best bang for buck sling I've seen so far. At no more than 40 US dollars, it's one of those rare unicorn truly can't go wrong things. And if you want to see my in-depth review, I'll link it right up here, as well as in the description below, where you'll be able to see exactly how I use it and how much stuff I comfortably carry with it. Next is a Traveler's Company Notebook Starter Kit. Look, I'm the first to admit I'm biased because my notebook is something I use even more frequently than my phone. But that said, a great notebook is an enabler of productivity, creative ideation, and just plain utilitarianism. I mean, are you on the phone with customer service and have to write something down? This notebook will offer a single point of truth available for you to jot down the vitals. Need to make a plan for your next trip? Scribble things down, draw arrows, cross things out quickly so you can see at a glance everything you want and plan to do. But why Traveler's Company Notebook specifically? Because it's both infinitely customizable as well as a forever item. Quality leather goods last a lifetime, and best of all, patina and age beautifully over that lifetime. And with customization options from charms to zippered pouches and every type of notebook insert under the sun, I'm talking from plain to lined to grid to calendar to watercolor to sketch, anyone's unique handwriting and notebook needs are met. I made a deep dive into the Traveler's Company Notebook ecosystem, and I'll link that video right up here as well as in the description below. Who is it for? Of course, if you know someone who is already a frequent writer or journaler, bullet journaling or general notebook user, I definitely recommend this. But also for anyone you know who has a lot of Zoom calls or meetings at their job or anyone who is starting their own business or side hustle, a notebook like this will definitely be used frequently. The starter kit comes with the leather or suede cover as well as a plain notebook insert so it's ready to go right out of the box. And at 40 to 50 US dollars, it's definitely not the cheapest notebook and notebook cover set, but the notebook refills themselves are typically between just $3 and $7, depending on the type of refill. You've probably noticed a trend in this video that I like both useful items and equally as importantly, forever items that can accompany the people you gift them to, to find utility in your gift for a lifetime. And with Traveler's Company creating an ever-growing ecosystem of customization, that lifelong utility just gets amplified even more. As usual, I've linked them in the description below if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. Lastly, I think one of the most underrated gifts is the gift of convenience. And it might be weird depending on your relationship with the person, so you be the judge. But as an example, prepaying for like a house cleaning service visit or a week of ready-made dinners are gifts that so many people don't even realize they desperately need and want. To have a gift that gets the boot off of their throat in terms of time and effort spent on chores for just one single day can often be the thing that turns a dreadful week into a much needed relaxation. By the way, if you're catching some value, I think you'll really like these ones right over here for some other great gift ideas. And if you like this video, please do let me know by hitting that like button. And if you love this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notifier. That little click or tap helps my humble little channel out a lot. 
But regardless, as usual, thanks so much for kicking it with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.